so make sure you have backed up all of your data because this is the first build of GOSP and if anything goes wrong you can go back to the point where you were before installing the ROM. So let's start with the installation. So first of all you need to reboot your device into recovery. Okay so first of all we need to wipe, just go to the advanced wipe and select the Dalvey card cache, cache, system and data. Swipe to wipe. So after wiping go back and navigate to your room. Here is the room and we have to install this room we are going to write over here. So we are going to press it like this and swipe to confirm flash. So it says patching vendor image unconditionally and that means it has the inbuilt vendor so, so we do not have to install the vendor separately. Okay, so you know it has been installed without any error. Let's go back and install the gaps if you want to. So you can install any gaps you want. I'm going to install the leak gaps. Swipe to confirm flash. So the gaps has been installed too. Now it's up to you guys if you guys want to flash the matches or not or if you guys want to flash the DFE or not. Since I don't know about the status of encryption in this room, so I'm going to flash the DFE plus matches. You know, I just made this a habit of flashing disable force encryption plus magic after every clean flash. To be at the safer side, you guys should flash the DFE and the matches. So I'm going to install the disable force encryption treble v 20 dot Swipe to confirm flash. Okay, so the installation process has been done now. Let's check if the device boots up or not. So the ROM is booting up, and here you get to see the native POSP boot animation. Put that to six and a half hours late. Okay, guys, so this ROM has been booted up, and it says something. There's an internal problem with your device. Contact your manufacturer for details. We simply need to press OK. So I'm just going to set up my device. So my Poco F1 has been set up with this ROM. And this is the first look of this latest POSP. So if you guys go to the settings and then the about phone and then the Android version. And here you get to see we are running POSP with Android version 10 and this is the official build and you are also getting the latest security patch of this one is running on the stock kernel and the gestures are also working fine like get the 3 button navigation as your default navigation I set it to the gesture navigation if you press the setting over here and you, and you don't get to see lots of customization related to the gesture so there's only a single option that is the back sensitivity and if I go to the settings and then the fries option UI of the customization has been changed completely in this BOSP room. They also provide you a preview of the optimization you are going to set up. Here we have the quick settings related customization. It says use framework values for QS so if I disable it. You can even customize it, it says use wallpaper colors, so you can even use the wallpaper color depending on your wallpaper, so I'm going to disable it and you also get the option to the QS panel opacity 127. So this is the first build, so all of the features won't be working, you go to this setting, okay so it's completely blank, it's the placeholder for the settings. Here you're going to see the accent color related settings. So the accent color customization is working properly. No issue with it. This one's also empty. This is the placeholder. So they are just providing you the placeholder of the customization and that might jump in in the next update. So no issue with the camera. Double tap wake up is extremely slow. You guys can see that. Now let's check the speed of the fingerprint, it's a bit slow but it's fine, this is the first build of the POSP. Hope you guys liked my video so make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already.